here for a moment. Go ahead and breathe up into the soul star about 8 to 12 inches. 
inches above your head. Opening up the crown like a satellite made of stars. Reaching up into our soul star chakra. Tuning into the vibration of our true soul's essence. Also known as higher self or soul self. Connecting in with the part of us that is unburdened by the physical body unburdened by its traumas and memories and programming the part of us that exists in total connection with love stream down through the body through the center column all the way down to the crystalline core of the new earth and here we're going to just wait for that energy to bounce back up into our heart for the earth and the love that she has for us waiting for that energy to bounce back up into the heart and we'll be ready to begin begin in our sacral chakra in the radius around our navel running from hip to hip so I invite you to just breathe into this please expanding the lower belly as you inhale allowing the sound frequencies to wash and clear on the exhale Inhale the lower belly, feeling into any tension and just pushing a little, gently expanding on the tension in the yeah. abdominal cavity. clearing here of any outdated attachments or open wormholes into negative realms into negative beings outdated cores of past relationships and any other high priority id that is in the outside of our life body here and clear all of those from all layers and levels of our physical and etheric bodies. Let's go ahead and bring up all agreements and contracts. 
much gives permission or gives away the ownership of our body, mind, spirit, energy, emotions in any way, shape, or form in all dimensions, in all of time, space in all timeline realities go ahead and clear, delete all of those agreements and contracts chakra here we're beginning to open the field almost as if we're opening a window into the quantum timeline realities of your body and of your soul's experience on earth Streaming a frequency of clearing light right through this window. And we're gonna reach the light right back to the moment of your intention to come to Earth. process of bringing our awareness to the point of intention of coming into this life okay this is before you were conceived by your parents when you were just a thought we're connecting to the brilliance and the courage and the joy that you held in your heart as your soul responded to a call of healing a call of service and as you look around you you might find that there are hundreds and thousands of sparks of light all are sharing this original vibration of celebration because we knew so deeply in our heart and soul this completion project will bring love and healing to so many corners of the universe that have lost its way And so here you were given a briefing, this awareness that it wasn't going to be easy. But with the power of creation inside you, there was nothing we can't accomplish together. And so with the full awareness of your power, the being in 
full connection with source. And yet also in full awareness of all the challenges that you will face on the earth. You joyfully dive into the womb of your mother at the moment of conception. for our higher self and our team to hold space for the collapse of this higher self energy to overlay that upon whoo, the moment of incarnation or the moment of conception. Let's go ahead and clear any vibrational imprints of distortion that we might have inherited from the original uh, interactions or exchange of love between our parents if there is any disconnection it could feel like the hole is too small to squeeze your big spirit through when the portal of love is not held so here we reconnect to all of those filaments of spirit that didn't make it through the eye of the needle in that moment of conception and through the pregnancy. well this perfect geometry of your original soul's essence <sighs> over the geometry of your developing fetus as you're dividing through cells in the first months of your pregnancy and we're just go ahead and clearing any distortions that the womb our parents may have been imprinting minute regrets <laughs> just restoring all the geometries of our splitting cells that are becoming our form and filling it up with the vibration of our own soul's essence distortions that we may have inherited from our parents trauma and mental states and as well if there are any open wormholes that were already trying to infiltrate our field go ahead and clear all of those see this ball of source light just growing and pushing out 
and creating this field of safety around your infant baby self. And higher self, galactic team, commanding for a clearing of all distortion frequencies, entities, open wormholes, negative intentions, agents of disincarnation from these pivotal moments in our quantum timeline. here to very close to the moment of birth Ooh, and we're going to envelop ourselves with again our soul essence vibrations and the energy of source okay as we're preparing our journey across the veil it's almost as if our ancestors are vibrant and ascended ancestors are standing in a circle around our mother and the space is being held for us to be born into this world okay and higher self galactic team and communicating to the somatic body we are releasing any trauma imprints from our moment of birth and the entire birthing process Ooh. go ahead and release from the body any frozen miasms of fear confusion suffocation Panic, lost, numbness. And if there are any soul fragments or energies that didn't make it into the body, go ahead and scoop those parts of energies right into the baby through quantum reality. Just enveloping our fetal self with a brilliant, warm, loving, cosmic energy. Yeah. That we are not separate from Source. We never have been. this etheric body part here in the sacral chakra like these little light filaments these little tendrils okay that can grow out and we're gonna grow this umbilical cord made of pure source light right into the heart of creation Galactic team, if there are any outdated frozen aspects that are traumatized by shock or loss or abandonment, go ahead and clear those frozen structures from the light body. Allowing 
the body to experience what it could feel like to exist in a world of peace. A world where there's an abundance of love. radiance of security to radiate outwards through the body correcting and clearing any outdated or frozen parts in scarcity and fear and disconnection through the quantum time reality through the first seven years of your life okay and if there are any open wormholes or portals attachments into negative realms and beings go ahead and clear all of those from all layers and levels of our physical and etheric bodies taking a scan for all of creation, for any misplaced or lost soul fragments from this period of time between the ages of zero and seven. Go ahead and bring those frozen pieces back. Wash clear with the love light of source. And return to each being through the highest self and the high heart. Okay. And I'm going to bring in a very gentle yet powerful clearing frequency right down through the crown. Right down through the lower chakras to release any outdated pain bodies that may have the memories or are carrying the trauma of interdimensional manipulation and if it's not necessary for our conscious mind to relive those memories go ahead and lift that density and pain from the body felt discouraged or lonely or afraid right? these are the parts of us that have always been awake and lucid and clear and so we want to just bring in this energy of reassurance and this connection to their deep sense of inner knowing and belief around scarcity around lack if there are any blocks in the root chakra and the gate of life go ahead and begin to open release the illusions of fear Okay, and we're 
bringing in the source template of the original vibrations of our root chakra, vibrance, security, tribal belonging. What would it feel like to exist in a world where we are treasured and cherished by our tribe? And everyone was kind. Good work, everybody. sink into almost a different geometry. We're going to fast forward through our quantum timeline here. Ooh, moving into the sacral chakra from when we are 7 to 14 years old. And the first thing we want to do is begin to run a clearing frequency for any programming or geometries of sexual misery and sexual energy siphoning devices and just pulling those out. Ooh. Any distortions in human relating? created us and caused us pain. Anytime we have experienced conditional love, survival, for love, for acceptance. Ooh, breathing the clearing frequency right through there. Ooh. Hi yourself, Galactic yeah. Team. Commanding for an absolute clearing of any entities, parasitic thoughts, soul fragments, open wormholes into negative realms, negative beings. Go ahead and scan for any open wormholes in our quantum timeline. Close and clear all of those from all layers and levels of our physical and light bodies.
a layer deeper here in the lower belly. I'm spiraling the energy right through. I'll just breathe. We're going a layer deeper into the denser bodies. And here we are intending to clear any misconnections to ourself. here again we're scanning through the quantum timeline of when we are 14 to 21 years old Ooh, if there are any open wormholes negative attachments into negative realms and beings for all of time space go ahead and close and clear all of those Plexus here. Higher self galactic team commanding for a clearing Ooh, of any anti self viral programming. Self doubt, self hatred, self judgment, self criticism, and all related energies of self deprecation. Go ahead and clear all the source of those patterns from the physical and etheric bodies on all levels and all layers and all dimensionalities and all timeline realities. I'm gonna reach in here and just pull that out. And higher self galactic team, we're commanding for a clearing of all energy siphoning technologies implant systems from all layers and levels of the physical and light bodies commanding for an absolute return of all stolen life force energy wash it clear with the life the light of divine source unity return those energy fragments through the higher self and the high heart through the lower chakras and just allow the energy to do the work relax and breathe feel the presence of this loving support that is here adoring you so much allowing that love to reach into the places inside of our being that maybe have never been loved
small fragmented personality crystals fragmented personalities disconnected from source go ahead and collapse Ooh. all of those artificial personalities personality patterns and programs just go ahead and push that right back into the soul column back into the core soul essence consciousness imprints implantation systems energy siphoning devices go ahead and spiral through the clearing frequency through the solar plexus and clear all layers and levels we do not consent to any energy intent or being not of our soul's highest love and joy not of our own soul's essence Demanding for an absolute clearing of all entities, thought forms, implantation systems, not of our highest love and joy, not of our own soul's energy, our own soul's essence, and clear through all layers and levels, all dimensionalities.
belly as far as you can go. And exhaling, releasing all tension. Do some really good work here. And we're continuing a layer deeper now into the muscles, which feels like the musculature, but really even denser feels of a light body here. Where the spirit really weaves and connects in with our physicality. We're starting in our lower belly here. That basically about our pelvis between our hips, that soft spot underneath our navel. Okay. And we're just bringing this light, loving energy right into the somatic body there, into the musculature. And allowing this love to dissolve any tension, any armor.
is any negative alien manipulation, experimentation, imprints relating to the breeding program or genetic experimentation. Go ahead and clear those fields and all from all layers and levels of our physical and light bodies. If there are any programming or technologies of emotional and sexual misery, go ahead and pull those out. currents from our gate of life and our root chakra and our sexual organs if there are any reversal current technologies or implants go ahead and remove those characteristics that are no longer in resonance or in complete disconnection from our soul's essence okay and just open and allow the frequency to move through here good work blockers clearing any 
source blockers and the DNA and the multidimensional body. You're doing a great job, everybody.
vibration to overlay and to transform any lower energies. fields in our light body or those layers of our body, those places of hidden tension, hidden trauma, hidden memories that society numbs out and tells us is normal, tells us is a subconscious. We can actually access these energies and engage in light body repair. Ooh, we realize the profound layers of healing that there is and also how this process can be so accelerated with the support of our higher self of source of our galactic teams these living light technologies of field restoration 
Continuing to flow that energy right down through the lower chakras, through the pelvis, through the pubic bone, the pelvic girdle, the inner pelvic muscles. This is really the psoas, where the trauma often gets stored. This is the deepest part of our being, of our quote-unquote subconscious. We're allowing the light of source, the divine love of the angels to come through and caress. Whoo, any parts that are hurting, that are holding into density, that are frozen, disconnected from our core soul essence, bringing connection, enveloping in light, and reconnecting back into the core soul essence. Whoo, good work, everybody. Whoo. toroidal field fully open as the gates of life are opening and clearing and restoring and healing feeling the dignity of your true soul's humanity return to the depth of your being vibrations of innocence, openness, joy, to settle down into the lower chakras, opening up the feet chakras here, allowing energy to flow through freely. spiraling it all the way down Whew, through the root chakra through the gate of life through the sexual organs feel the toroidal field activate Whew. okay and again connecting in with the pride of being alive on earth the profoundness of life, of creation, flowing through our bodies all the time. And these programs, I want to take away that honor dignity of being human the truth that we are divine sacred beings of original divine creation restoring those vibrations of pride connection dignity empowerment confidence back into the physicality of our being.
So we're connecting in with our original template. What it's supposed to feel to be human. As we're feeling that ease, that stability, the comfort of knowing that you are infinitely worthy of all the love in the universe. Just land that comfort and that truth and that safety right into the collective field and the body of the earth. We're anchoring the original vibration of life, heaven on earth. Through our own bodies, through our own fractal of the earth, our physicality, our body. We're birthing that through our root chakra into the fabric of reality here together. Let's go ahead and just communicate with our body. The water, the trees, the wind, the animals. All of the human children that are sleeping in their bed or going to school or in the playground. And all of the adults and their inner children inside of their bodies radiating this serenity, this truth, this signal of original living creation, of human beingness. Connecting to our ocean friends, the ocean, the whales, the dolphins that are holding these vibrations with us. The mountains, the rocks that are holding this vibration with us. In togetherness, we are the source of creation. The source of restoration. The source of healing, regeneration. And togetherness, we anchor and radiate and send correction into the hologram. Oh. Mm -hmm. 
tender, gentle, soft beings that we are. Honoring the courageous warriors in you that despite the harshness of this world, chooses love and chooses to remember the tenderness and the truth of our being. And yet when it is called to channel the fierceness of love to protect the innocent, and to restore and protect the sacred and all that is worth being strong and courageous for life in creation we send gratitude to the helper spirits that supported in our healing today as well as all the beings that showed up to face the shadows and to pray together we are commanding that each being's highest self oversee the process of any healings that may still need to be complete if they are in alignment with each being's highest love and highest joy and if these healings are in fact in alignment with every soul's highest love and joy let them be permanent let them blossom in each being through time